We are at the Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama for the fourth race of Season 1 of the SCRL ARCA Racing Series. The 58 of Jesse Turner will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 17 of Tommy Hudson. That's the qualifying, well, starting lineup. All 40 entries. Jesse Turner will be looking for redemption. As he was leading before the white flag, before his car blew up at Charlotte. So he'll be looking for redemption. Grayson Ace Vidu, our points leader, will be starting third. He has a 10-point lead over Jeff Hunter. Nick Kennedy, who won at Charlotte, will be starting 21st. The driver who won the first Super Speedway event, Josh Barker, uh, will be starting 7th. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, what an amazing race Charlotte was. Jesse Turner led the most laps. Coming to the white flag, his car has mechanical problems. Have you ever? No, I've never. For the first time in this series, we are at Talladega, as I've already said. This is the actual, you know, place in the schedule that Talladega and the real Talladega schedule, I mean, ARCA schedule for 2012, where it was the fourth event of the season. It is the fourth event for this schedule as well. The past two races, we have done other tracks that weren't real that they raced in 2012. So we're getting back to the real part of it. 19 laps around this super speedway. I believe this is the 2013 version of Talladega. Not that great camera angles, but what can you do? Yep, so Jesse Turner once again, still trying to find success in the ARCA series. As I mentioned before, in the last race, he was the first driver to be ever recorded for this league. The first time I ever posted a video was of Jesse Turner getting wrecked in the Tri-Oval, I believe. He could have won Charlotte, but something mechanical went wrong. Actually, he broke a header. That's what the problem was. Pace car is in as we deal with these crappy camera angles. And there's a green. We are racing at Talladega. Three wide for third. Jesse Turner is still battling side by side with the 17. Still side by side heading down the back stretch. Jesse Turner keeps the race lead. Tasty Apple car. Turner goes to the middle. Tries to block the low lane. I don't think it's going to have enough time, though. No, he, whoops. No, he will not. The 16. Evan Rudd leads the first lap and gets a bonus point. There's not that great camera angles on this track. See? 82, Zachary Fitzwater, who's involved in the second caution, which I forgot to recap, is your new race leader. In the last race, he got involved in a wreck. Couldn't see it because I forgot to record it. I mean, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't when I resaw it. 
66, John Ard is your new race leader. Look at the pack. Three by three by three by three by three. Oh, we got a car. That's a 69, Daniel Bouchard. Is having problems. Yeah, he's having big problems. He's going 60 miles an hour. That's normally a start and park car. And he'll stall before he even gets to turn one. Well, caution come out. He's off the track. No caution. That's really weird. Anyway, 66, John Ard continues to hold the race lead. As Zachary Fitzwater, no, excuse me, David Dryberg. Their paint schemes are the same, so that's why I got them confused. David Dryberg made his debut at Charlotte, and what a debut it was. He led a lot of laps. He finished in the top 10, I believe. And... No, oh, that was a... Oh, yes, David Dryberg led that lap. 06. Tim Holiday is your new race leader in the unsponsored 06 car. Of course, Ford. And some of the field has... Oh, we got a car blowing up. That's the 77 of John Racer. That's the second race in a row he's blown up. And that has separated the field. And there's Turner way up high. At the back of this pack. I'm sorry if it's lagging. I can't figure out how to not make it lag. Tim Holiday in the 06. Leads a lap. Gains a bonus point. Remember, we are using ARCA points and rules, and they do award points for leading laps. So, this ain't NASCAR rules. Second place is the 92 of Samantha Kennedy. Well, not for long. Here comes the 99 of Eric Wayne, who had a top five finish. Up, no, a top five or top ten at Charlotte. This is his second career start. Not a bad outing for a car that normally starts and parks in ARCA. Of course, you don't have to worry about starting and parking in this league because all the car ratings are the same, the 155-65 scale. And the 06 leads another lap. Four wide. Back to three wide. There's our points leader, the number one, Grayson Ace Vidu. Doesn't have a single win, but he is our points leader as of this moment. New race leader. That is the 09 of Richard Torres. Despite the rookie stripe on his car, he is not a rookie. I'm not a painter, so I can't, you know, take stuff off cars. And Richard Torres will lead a lap. And he goes back to walk the low lane. And there's the two cars that have mechanical problems. John Racer and Daniel Bouchard are stalled on pit road. Well, not stalled, are on pit road. Get these cars in the back. Don Benson, Mike Pearson, Cam Nixley, David Dryberg. This second pack might be able to catch him. Sebastian Torres, Cassie Waz, TJ Hanley, AJ Jones, Taylor Kennedy, Jay Barker, Keka White Lion, Jay Jefferson, who had a hard hit at Charlotte, Cole Nixley, Jeff Hunter, and where's the other guy? Aiden Shepard, who finished third at Charlotte. Is way in the back. Up front, Richard Torres maintains his race lead. And we have gone caution free for seven laps. Which that's not typically the norm. You normally have wrecks at Talladega, but sometimes there ain't. I mean, I 
I don't know what else I can do. I got the AI strength all the way up to 110%. I got the AI distance, you know, as close as you could possibly get. Richard Torres blocks Grayson Ace Vidu. Richard Torres leads yet another lap. Oh, battle for second. Here comes the six of Colin Dryberg. Not having that great of a season, I believe. Behind him is the 82 of Zachary Fitzwater. Unsponsored car. Fitzwater and Dryberg do not have a win in the Arca Series. That's pretty... Oh, there, there he is, Jesse Turner. Moving up. I would sing that moving on up song, but probably get a copyright strike for that. No on YouTube. Turn it whoa. What the heck? We got a problem with the 68. Crazy. Damn it. Nick Kennedy, who just won Charlotte, he's having a problem. So that is the second. Kimmel Racing car that has had problems. They shouldn't be running out of gas. Let's see, is there going to be a caution for this car? Nope. No caution. Richard Torres maintains his race lead. So a car stalls twice on this game, and there's no caution. But if there's like a little tiny spin, oh yeah, there'll be a caution. Richard Torres is once again still the race leader. He leads another lap. Torres wants to get a win. And move on up in the standings. It's all one big pack again. Everyone has caught up. Except for the 69. You know, he's laps down, though. And Dryberg and Torres are still battling. I mean, no. Dryberg and Grayson Ace. We do are battling. And there he is. The double zero. Matt Johnson, who... Had that hard wreck at Charlotte. Wow. Oh. And he's out there competing. Possibly for a win. After getting hit hard in the driver's door by Jay Jefferson. I'm sorry if the frame rate is bad. I don't know how to fix that. Brian Fox trying to move on up. He was involved in the uh, Jay Jefferson and Matt Johnson wreck at Charlotte. But he was still able to finish in the top 10 as we got a new race leader, our points leader, Grayson Ace. V2. Brian Fox goes to the middle, but dropping down low is the number one car, and Grayson will lead a lap one car. Here comes the 17 of Tommy Hudson who finished Whoa! Look out! Four wide for second. That's the 10. Don Benson makes his move. Huh. Don Benson. You know who used to drive 10 in the Cup Series? Johnny Benson. I'm guessing there's no relation there. Well, I mean, I've had Mark Martin comment on my races on Twitter, so you never know. The chin and the unsponsored car as well. Look at the pack. I mean, look at that. They're all joined together. So Don Benson, who was pretty far back, has worked his way up and will lead a lap at Talladega. They got battle for second. Here comes the 34 of Caden Irene. This is a force of habit, but let's check lap traffic. Turn four. They're on the back stretch. Yeah, yeah, they're going to catch him. 
34, Kate and Irene. Again, help from Jay Jefferson in the 55. The 34 will take the lead in turn three and four. The front two have never won a race in their career in this league. But the 34 will lead a lap. We have completed 14 laps without a caution. We got battle for second. The three car of TJ Hanley is making his move. Yeah, to me it looks like it's lagging, but when I view the video, it's not lagging, so I don't know. I heard a car go slow. That's the 10. Wait, why are these cars going slow? They, they should be running out of gas. Yes, it's the 10, Don Benson, who was just leading not too long ago. Yeah, these cars lost out on the draft. There's a 68 again, coming back out onto the track, Nick Kennedy. And drivers, he lost out on that. Was drivers like Jesse Turner, Todd Kennedy. A lot of these drivers, Riley Spurley too, they are way behind the pack. Three wide for position. So our new race leader is Taylon Kennedy. Taewon. I'm not good with naming them. I apologize. The 0-2 leads a lap. Three laps to go next time by. So we have a pack of 13 cars after the 10 had mechanical problems, I believe. No, he's back out on the track. He apparently had just a tire. As these cars try and catch back up, they're not going to have enough time, I don't think. So the 0-2 is your race leader. As they cross the line, three laps to go. Got battle for second. Here comes the one of Grayson S. Vidu going around Ding Drinker. Behind him is the 20 of A.J. Jones, who was in a crash at Charlotte. Up oh, here comes Grayson for the lead. Make sure there ain't no yep. lap traffic's in the trial. We will not catch him. Grayson S. Vidu takes the lead and turn three and four. Pack of 13 cars scrambling for position, trying to get as many spots as they can. Grayson drops low. Into the travel. White flag, one lap to go at Talladega. Can Grayson hold off Aiden Shepard, or is Grayson a sitting duck? Uh, 55 is trying to make a move, Jay Jefferson. Grayson blocks the high lane. Yep, the pack's not going to catch him. Grayson drops down low. Into turn three and four for the final time. Out of turn number four. Heading down the triangle. Jay Jefferson's going to try and make a move. Jay Jefferson. It'll be a drag race. 55. I believe, right? Yes, it is. He barely got it. 
Perry race results. Jay Jefferson scores a very close win. Actually, let's take a uh, quick look at the finish. I thought Grayson had it, but Jay just got a run in the trioval. He got pushed by the five of Jay Barker. Barker trying to make it a three-way battle, but too late. And there it is. Jefferson beat him by half a car length. So that's the second race in a row we've had a close finish. So Jay Jefferson scores the win by 26 tenths of a second. Third, Jay Barker. Fourth, Keka Whiteline. Fifth, Aiden Shepard. Sixth, Caden Irene. Seventh, Taylor Kennedy. Eighth, Benoit Levitt Irvine. Ninth, Ding Drinker. And tenth, Sebastian Torres. Rest of the race results. We had 36 cars finish the race on the lead lap. We had three lap down. The 77, John Racer, was out due to a broken valve. And that's it for Talladega. Victory lane time with Jay Jefferson. Here are the point standings after the fourth race of the season at Talladega. Grayson Ace Vidu remains the points leader. He has a now 85-point lead over Jeff Hunter. So Grayson gained 75 points in one race. Third is Caden Irene, 100 points back. Fourth is Aiden Shepard, 130 points back. And fifth is Kaka White Lion, 135 points back. Rusty point standings, you probably can't see it because it messes up sometimes. That's it for Talladega. We'll see you at the fifth race of the season at Gateway.